Hi guys, it's Richard FLD here again. Um, just another quick update on the video I posted where I show where to replace LEDs in the front of computers or you know on panels or anything. Um, I just wanted to say in regards to <coughs> soldering and whatnot and connections, because um, something I was going to say which I forgot to mention. Um, if you're not very good with soldering, as a lot of people aren't, um, what you can do is you can get these, which are called crimps, and I generally use these for my electrical bits and bobs. Um, basically, what they are, if you've got the end of a piece of wire, just any bit of wire like that. Um, Instead of soldering it, you can use these. Obviously, <clears throat> the one problem is, if you're doing something like an LED, replacing it, um, you're still going to have to solder the wire onto the LED. Um, but the problem I had, and a lot of people, other people might have, is it's only a limited amount of wire that actually comes out. So once you start cutting it, and then um, taking off, you know, bits of wire and stuff, it's going to get shorter and shorter and shorter and you don't have a lot of wire to play with when you're soldering which can be a bit of a bother but what you can do is you can um, solder up your LED like on the bench or something with a bit of wire then what you can do with that bit of wire is use a crimp on it um, something like this which is a double ended crimp it's perfect because then you can just join the bits of wire up and then just crimp this on. I mean, it really is that simple. You know, you don't need any special abilities to do that. All you do is you strip the ends of your two pieces of wire, slide them in, or you do one side first, and then you just crimp it with this tool. As you can see, it's got um, red, blue, and yellow. Um, your red crimps are these ones, which use smaller crimps. Your blue ones are the next ones up, and then your yellow ones are really big ones. Um, I don't use those. I mean, the stuff, the sort of stuff you'd use that on is like big machinery and stuff, stuff, big bits of wire. Um, but yeah, it's just so simple, and they are so cheap. I buy bags of like a hundred for a few pounds. I mean, they are that cheap. And the great thing is they come in all sorts of sizes. I mean, you've got these. Um, this is a female spade connector, which is good because you can put that on the end of a piece of wire and then you put this on the other end, which is a spade, and then you can just connect them and disconnect them as you want, which is good. Also, you've got bullet connectors, which is just, that's a female bullet connector, and obviously the male one is just a round one which then just fits in there, again, same principle. And yeah, you can even get different types. I mean, <clears throat> oops, I just dropped it. Hold on. <coughs> Obviously, here you've got a female spade, and it's shielded. But you can also get unshielded ones. Um, generally, I always use the shielded ones because you know once you've put that inside there. You know, you don't even need to bother with shrink wrap. I mean, that'll be perfectly insulated. Also, you've got piggyback connectors. So obviously, if you've got a live wire going from here to here, and you want to take a live off that wire, and then you've got the capacity to do that. You just then put a female spade on the end of your other bit of wire, and just connect it on there, and then you've got another live coming off. And yeah, you can even get smaller ones. Um, things like this are handy because then you can just pop them on the back of switches like I've done on that switch there. That's just got um, a couple of these on the back and then you can just unplug them as you need to. So yeah I mean you get all different kinds but for something like this where you've only got a limited amount of wire coming out um, all you need to do is you just snip the wire and then you solder up your LED with more wire on, so you know you'd cut off, you know, I don't know, that much. Connect that onto, connect your LED onto there. Cut it there. Um, stick, stick your double-ended crimp there, and then the other end you just connect in there, and then you've got more wires to play with. So now they're wonderful things, and if you're not very good for soldering, then 
you know, they're perfect. Um, all you need is a set of these. Um, you can get these as a ratchet set, so um, you, they're a lot more sort of powerful and easier to use. Um, personally, these are good because you've also got wire strippers on. And yeah, I mean, that's just you can get all sorts of different crimpers, but yeah, no, they're really cheap. Um, and yeah, I don't know what else. I was just about to say something else as well. I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh yeah, in relation to LEDs as well, I know I said that you have to solder them, but what you can do <coughs> is apparently you can get crimps like these, which go onto the end of your wire, and then they have a very tiny hole on the other side, which then you crimp on to the leg of your LED. So you can just crimp bits of wire on, but I've never used them and I don't know how reliable they are, so I can't even comment on them, but you know, if if you're not very good at soldering, these are ideal, and yeah, these are perfect. I mean, generally, for my cars and stuff and bikes, I will always use bullet connectors because I don't know, they just seem to be easier. Um, but for everything else, it's pretty much uh, double ended crimps and male and female speeds. You can pretty much do anything with those, and maybe even some piggyback crimps. Um, piggyback crimps are also useful because if you've got um, several fans or say you want to connect up lots of things to a switch well you earth them out through the switch and what you do is put lots of piggyback connectors on the earth wire and then just earth all your things up to the switch so then that way you know you can control several things from one switch just by that and then obviously you can just disconnect them as you need to and uh, play around with them so yeah, crimps. Um, give them a go. You'll love them. That's all for now.